ever wondered about the journey of SpaceX's Starship and its attempts to reach orbit? Today we delve into the chronicles of this ambitious venture, starting from the very beginning. SpaceX's Starship, an impressive feat of engineering, is the most powerful rocket ever built. The first significant milestone for Starship came in May 2021, with a successful suborbital flight. However, the path towards reaching orbit hasn't always been smooth. In April of 2023, the first Starship Super Heavy vehicle was tragically destroyed a few minutes after liftoff. A setback indeed, but not a defeat. SpaceX returned to the drawing board armed with invaluable lessons from this failure. November of the same year brought another attempt, which, unfortunately, also resulted in failure. This time, both the Super Heavy booster and Starship upper stage suffered separate malfunctions. But again, these failures were not in vain. Each mishap provided SpaceX with a wealth of information, precious lessons that would guide their future endeavors. Now, we're looking towards the future, towards the upcoming launch scheduled for March 14th. This launch is not just another attempt at reaching orbit, it's an ambitious test flight that aims to build on the lessons learned from previous flights. SpaceX plans to fly a new trajectory with a splashdown targeted for the Indian Ocean 65 minutes after liftoff. This new flight path will allow SpaceX to attempt new techniques like in-space engine burns while maximizing public safety. The upcoming launch also has several ambitious objectives. These include a successful ascent, the burn of both stages, opening and closing Starship's payload door, a propellant transfer demonstration during the upper stage's coast phase, the first ever relight of its Raptor engine while in space, and a controlled re-entry of Starship. SpaceX isn't stopping there though. The company also confirmed it will perform a propellant transfer test on the flight, moving propellant from one tank to another within Starship during the upper stage's coast phase. This test is a crucial step towards future tests, where one Starship vehicle will transfer methane and liquid oxygen propellants to another Starship in orbit. This capability is essential for Starship's use as a lunar lander for NASA's Human Landing System program. One Starship would serve as a propellant depot in low Earth orbit, filled by subsequent flights of tanker Starships. The Starship lunar lander would then launch, be refueled by the depot and head to the moon. The pace of Starship development is indeed a source of tension as it is crucial for the first crew Artemis landing on the moon scheduled for no earlier than September 2026. However, NASA and SpaceX are working well together on the HLS version of Starship, and there's a lot of good learning with flight tests of Starship. So as we look forward to the launch on March 14th, we can expect the loading of liquid oxygen in advance, followed by the fuel. At about the 20th minute, the Raptor engines begin to chill on the booster and ship. Three and a half minutes before liftoff, the booster propellant load will complete followed by the ship propellant load complete at 2 minutes and 50 seconds. In essence, this upcoming launch is a culmination of years of hard work, lessons learned and pioneering spirit. It's more than just reaching orbit, it's about pushing the boundaries of space travel and paving the way for future exploration. So, here's to the journey of SpaceX's Starship, a testament to human ingenuity and the relentless pursuit of progress. Please like and subscribe our channel for future updates, thank you.